Hi, I'm Jill from The Funky Professor. What you've just seen is a teeny tiny teaser of um, some footage from our Head & Neck series. Now, I know a lot of you have been waiting for this series to come out and uh, we are a little bit behind schedule. However, the good news is that our first video is going to be released on Monday. Uh, we did release these skull and facial bones a few weeks ago to give you all a bit of a taster of what's to come. Uh, we've added it to our basics package. So if you subscribe to our basics package, which is free, you will get access to that video as well as um, videos from all our other topics. Um, let's not forget that with these videos come the revision pages, the test questions, and we have recently introduced the BioDigital 3D interactive widget. Uh, this means that you can use this widget and with your mouse you can rotate it, you can highlight structures, you can take structures off and you can really orientate yourself to the human body. So this has come out with the uh, skull and facial bones for you to have a little try. And uh, if you do get a chance to look at that, we would love to know what you think. So on Monday, the video, the next video that we are releasing is the Terrigo Palatine Fossa. Now this is a big word, but it is a teeny tiny space. And I have to tell you, when I first saw the script, the script was also quite short and I thought, ah, no worries, I can knock this off. Uh, little did I know how complicated this area is. And not being a medic myself, I really, really struggled to pull this all together. Um, having said that, I think the final result meant that I could actually understand what the Terrigo Palantide Fossil was all about. So if you are a premium member of The Funky Professor, you will have access to this video on Monday. And uh, once you watch it, I would absolutely love to know what you think. Every series that we finish is pretty exciting, but I have to say that um, getting the launch for the Head & Neck series out is particularly special. And the reason for this is that we started The Funky Professor 10 years ago. Uh, Dr. Susan Alexander founded the company, and uh, the reason she came up with the idea is because she had found learning anatomy uh, really difficult and really overwhelming. And uh, she wanted to find a really fun, easy way to learn anatomy because let's face it it's it's not that difficult but there is so much of it so how do you deliver this in a really fun easy way so that people can absorb the information and 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 face their exams with confidence susan's inspiration for this vision is none other than professor vishimahadevan now i'm pretty sure most of you are familiar with him by now and you will understand why she's so inspired by him he has a unique flair for teaching and an absolute unstoppable passion for anatomy so we've got susan with her vision and we've got prof vishy with his legacy how are we going to bring all of this stuff together and this is where i come in so i've been in post-production for over 25 years and i started my career in melbourne australia at channel 9. In the year 2000, I moved to London and I started working at Sky News. Susan actually went to medical school with my husband, Rob, and this is how we met. When Susan got wind of what I did for a living, she approached me about this idea of hers. What she really, really wanted was to capture Prof Fishy on film so that everybody could benefit from his amazing teaching. So that was when The Funky Professor was born. Now I have to say, over the past 10 years, while this has been developing, we've all, all gone through many twists and turns in our lives, both professionally and personally. Having said that though, the ethos of what lies at the very heart of The Funky Professor is, well, several things actually. One, to make anatomy easy. Two, to make anatomy fun and three, to make learning anatomy accessible to everyone and to be a support system for the student from the beginning of your journey to the end of your journey. In 2019, we were meant to film the Head & Neck series. We had a meeting at St George's Hospital in London. Vichy was lecturing there at the time and we had been given permission to use the cadaver specimens in their lab to help us with our videos. So there we were at St George's Hospital and we were thrashing out the details of the, the production process for the Head & Neck series. When Vichy then had to tell us that he needed a coronary artery bypass operation. You can imagine this knocked us all sideways, not least Vichy. Uh, needless to say, he came through the operation 
and uh, although he faced his recovery with determination and extraordinary courage, um, it was obvious that it was going to be a long recovery. By January 2020, uh, Prof Fishy said that he felt fit enough and strong enough to start the production process for the head and neck. So this was really, really exciting. Um, it was great to see him back on his feet and uh, it was great to see everybody get really excited and inspired again by the fact that we were finally on the home stretch of getting this content finished. So we had uh, put in some dates for May, May 2020, and we were going to film it all then and hopefully have the whole series out by September in 2020. Well, I don't have to tell you what happened. <laughs> COVID-19 hit and uh, everything got put on the back burner again. Here in the UK, during October, we had what we called the rule of six. Most of the heavy restrictions had been lifted, but you were allowed to congregate inside in groups of six. This gave us a very small window of opportunity to film the head and neck. Now we couldn't film it in a studio, we couldn't film it at St George's, we couldn't film it at the Royal College of Surgeons like we had done with our previous videos. So I opened up my living room in order for us to do this. We spent an amazing weekend filming the head and neck. I mean, the, the, the sense of euphoria that surrounded us because we were finally doing it, we were finally getting the final series done, was absolutely immense. A few days later, we went to St George's Hospital. We had access to the dissection lab there. That day was incredible as well. It didn't have quite the sense of euphoria that the weekend at my home did. And this was mainly because we were dealing with cadaver specimens. Now for me, who's not really used to working with cadavers, I found this extremely poignant. I wondered about the person behind the body. I wondered about their life and about their history. The, but the, the, the biggest feeling I had was one of awe and admiration that they and their families had made this incredible donation in the name of science to help people like you learn anatomy and learn more about the human body. With all that said, I would like to welcome you into my home. We are actually in my home now. This is my office and this is where all the editing magic happens. But I would also like to welcome you into my living room where we filmed the commentary for the Head and Neck series. We've also got um, a bit of footage from when we were at St George's Hospital. And I hope that this video shows you just how emotional and how incredibly important the launch of the Head and Neck series is to us. <laughs>